Kia ora. Man, welcome. Uh, this is a new vlog series, um, and we're taking a cue from the bro Ice, uh, Isaac John, from his book and recording the journey. Uh, it was also my partner's idea to record the journey of this whole Moko for Moko's business. Um, so, let's get everybody up to speed. So, came up with the idea about a year ago. This is just going to be a quick run through of the whole story behind Moko for Moko's. I'll do a separate video and a podcast talking about the nitty gritty of like the whole setup of everything but came up with the idea around this time last year like end of 2018 maybe even early 2019 I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a page called Toddler Tattoos and it's a business that was set up by this guy called Tim Hendricks who's a tattoo artist that I follow on Instagram and it's temporary tattoos for kids and the style that they do is uh, American style tattoos and of course I immediately got the idea of why not do tamako? Why not do uh, you know a Maori version, and let it be for our kids? Came up with the name Moko for Mokos. Um, as I said before, I'll talk about that in another video. The meaning behind all of that stuff. Uh, but anyway, a few months ago, my partner and I, Sunny, decided to have a go at it, like making this an actual thing. I, I eventually was going to do it, but this year has been. A strange year it's been a year of learning and trying to be creative and um, yeah all that but yeah a few months ago decided to have a go of it and we found a date to um, actually launch Moko for Mokos and that was at the end of October it's November now the date today is the 18th of November Monday uh, we launched at Ngāti Awa Te Toki, which is a kapahaka festival for Ngāti Awa, which is the iwi local iwi around here in Whakatane and um, we thought what better place to launch than at a kapaka event because that event is about celebrating being Māori, celebrating being of this area and um, you see a lot of moko uh, on the stage, you know the adults have got moko and the kids have moko as well so we thought that would be a perfect time and we had about from the time when we decided to actually have a go of it to the actual launch date, launch date was about two months it was about two months i think it was the beginning of september we actually decided we wanted to do it and then the launch was at the end of october the last weekend of october labor weekend and um yeah so we got all that stuff sussed ended up launching had a really really good launch uh we were received really well that was over two days uh had a lot of um help and special mention to my brother church his partner lise uh and pauline um one of our good friends uh, for helping that weekend just to um, man, the, man the fort really and put mokos on kids and special mention to my cousin Moirangi and her partner Matetu and their little business Toyuru, go follow them, T-O-I-U-R-U -U, for letting us use your fellas FPOS machine that weekend. That was a success. Um, fast forward like a week and a half after that or a yeah, week and a half and we were at our second event already, the Te Manakuratahi, which was Primary Nationals Kapahaka and Hamilton at the Crawlins Event Centre. Mind my speech, I'm trying to talk fast so I can get into some work because I've got a bit of stuff to do tonight. Um, and that was a four day, it wasn't a four day event but we were there for four days from Tuesday to the Friday. It was actually run from the Monday to the Friday. And that was a special deal so we were, um, we were in there in the kids zone so my cousin one of my cousins charlotte she she was organizing the kids area and she um from her the boss i think boss let's just say boss probably wasn't technically her boss but the person who gave her the reins to organize the kids zone said um pretty much have um entertaining fun stuff to celebrate being moldy things like that of that nature in this area so she reached out and it was our first big opportunity really and um, we were paid for that event to just so we could give out free moko and it ended up being able to give out 120 free moko every day which was good and we ended up uh, we had a limit like one free one per kid every day just so as many kids as possible could get an opportunity to get a free moko um, that went really well. It was cool. We were super, super stoked with it. 
And um, I can talk about this more in detail, um, maybe in a separate video or separate something. Like maybe I'll have episodes talking about our journey, but um, I should have really been onto it and started this vlog series um, when we started this whole business. Um, FYI, this whole vlog series is just so if you can come on the journey with us, learn with us, fail with us, win with us, and hopefully if you can get some inspiration, some cues, learn from our mistakes, we all learn from other people's mistakes, so if us can do the same with whatever business you fellas want to do. Uh, anyway, so fast forward to now, um, we've been trying to set up this online store, um, obviously the way of the world today is a lot of people, if not most people, order things online and um, you know, super grateful for this day and age where we can have a global reach and we can use things like Instagram and Facebook in order to market and to get our brand out there and get our products out there. So big um, sort of tasks on at the moment. One big one that we got sorted today, which I'm stoked about, was setting up a bank account and we set up a business bank account, joint one. Um, one little thing that I learned today like utility bills so we needed obviously to set up a bank account you need some form of ID we used our passports and then some proof of address and the proof of address had to be a certain type of address or a certain type of proof uh, for obvious reasons you know it can't be just from um, the tire shop down the road proof of address it has to be some sort of um, recognized um, authorized sort of body that banks can trust I suppose just so in my mind, I'm just blooming guessing, but you know, just so it's legit, let's just say that. And um, the way we had to do it for me personally, because our living situation, we're lucky we, you know, how we live in some of the things where, or some of the required fields where either having proof of address that's rent, but um, we don't like rent our own house, we stay with my partner's cousin, and you know, all these things that ended up using my mobile bill and it's just lucky that I'm on a plan so I get um, a monthly bill that I pay and I didn't realize that mobile plan was included as a utility bill and that was one of the accepted forms so I'm stoked about that I thought it just had to be a home phone but it was a small hiccup in the road long story short we got our account set up so that was a big one next big task was trying to set up an email still figuring that shit out to be honest and because the way I work is I try to like, have a list of things in my mind, not so much physically have a list. Um, when I'm more onto it, I have a physical list. But trying to um, do tasks one at a time and I get really frustrated and that's a thing that I need to work on. Really frustrated if I can't complete one of these tasks and I feel like I can't move on to the next task and that's where I'm at sort of with this email so trying to set up an email uh, info at mokoformokos.com and trying to link it to the website mokoformokos.com and then just all these verification steps that you have to do for obvious reasons just to prove that the domain is owned by you and whatnot but anyway in the process of trying to set it up and trying to verify it um, one of the things that it says you have to do it sounds straightforward um, it says you have to Click on this manage domain part, blah, blah, blah. Straightforward, and then I go there, and then it's not even there, which is super frustrating. So ended up making a separate email, um, which is uh, mokoformokos at gmail.com, but I really don't like that it's got at gmail.com. At the end. You know, it's just personal preference, but just trying to work through these things. So anyway, that's that. Uh, next thing is finishing this website. So... My partner, Sunny, she's doing all of that and, um, you know, obviously finishing that so we can get, so we can, you know, have the store, the online store open so if us can order and have everything ready before Christmas. And then another thing we're trying to do, that's the alarm system outside if us can't tell. Another thing we're trying to do is um, sort out with the online store postage. So trying to open up an account with New Zealand Post so that when all the orders come through, the whole process from your fellow's order, us processing your order, 
and getting it shipped out to you is smooth without having to handwrite everything, without having to go to the post shop to pay individually for everything, set up an account so we can pay at the end of the month and just drop everything off or you know drop all the packages off or get them picked up. And in order to do that, we had to have an email and then we didn't have an email, which I was just talking about. So just all these little small annoying things that you know are supposed to be straightforward. They are straightforward for some of you. You'll be saying, yeah, they're straightforward, but just the little hoops you have to jump over in order to make those things real are surprisingly annoying. Um, so yeah, those are the big things. And we pretty much just want the whole system to be smooth and easy for you fellas, as well as for us. We want it to be a beautiful website. We want it to be easy to navigate. We want it to be easy to order, um, to have all our systems in place. The name of the game at the moment is foundation, setting up our foundation so it's solid, so it's easy, so that when we grow from here, because we have a lot of plans for growth, um, our foundation is going to support our growth and we're going to be able to keep building and building on top of that. And um, yeah, we're early on, obviously, in this game. But it's exciting. I'd rather be doing this than doing something for somebody else that I don't actually care about. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, still got a lot of things to do. We've got a lot of exciting plans for the future. But yeah, this is our journey. Um, moko for mokos. Um, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this. Let us know what you think. If you've got any help for us or any tips on what we should be considering running a business. Um, obviously, the tech stuff, we've got that in mind. And um, yeah, we're learning about all those sort of things. I've got my own business separate from this. Um, but just yeah just enjoy this journey with us um subscribe if you like um hope you fellas got some sort of value from this hope it wasn't too handy i feel like it was handy but we'll see you fellas in the next one we'll see how this whole journey goes this is the beginning the date today is the 18th of november 2019 who knows where we'll be in a year five years ten years uh yeah no diora Kia ora.